1.7 million years ago, a human relative faced one of the most feared diseases of modern day life. This individual, an early hominin, suffered from cancer. Scientists from Witts University used high-tech scanning techniques to scan the small piece of a foot bone, a fossil found about 50 years ago at Swartkrans near the famous Sterkfontein caves in South Africa to find what is currently the earliest evidence of a malignant cancer in the human lineage. I came across the scan and it was a fuzzy, fuzzy picture. Couldn't work out what was going on. So I decided to go and have a look at the specimen in Swartkrans. Pulled out the bone specimen and this is about the size of the bone. It's a small foot bone and we used micro CT. We got an absolutely crisp message. When we zoomed in on the actual medullary cavity, which is the, the tube, the, what is so called the, the, the normal empty tube of the bone, it was completely filled with new bone uh, formation. It was this osteoblastic type of, um, or this expansive bone, this new bone formation that was in the medullary cavity that led me to say, hang on a second, this is something different. This is abnormal. Patrick, what's going on here? And he looked at it and he said to me, I think you've got it. Bingo. Working on a separate project, the scientists also found a benign tumour in one of the thoracic vertebrae of the 12-year-old boy child, Australopithecus sediba. Tumours are localised. Um, there is a control mechanism in terms of the growth of the, of the cells, of the abnormal cells, um, and they don't have the capacity to uh, continue expanding and they don't, what we call metastasize, they don't spread to other parts of the body. Whereas cancers, um, otherwise known as malignancies, do, and that can be life-threatening. This is the sediba specimen. This is a sixth thoracic vertebra, so this fits um, roughly in the middle of the back. And you'll see that on the, the vertebra here, you've got this kind of large hole, this defect. Um, that, that's presented in, in what's called the lamina of the vertebra. And that's the site of where the tumour is active. When we look at the metatarsal, so effectively looking at a, a left little toe, it's a tiny little bone, um, and you've got this growth on the outside of the bone. And when we look at that in, in a larger view, you can see this very aggressive, irregular growth of bone on the surface. Um, but what, what's more important is that that aggressive new growth of bone is actually spread into the medullary cavity. Um, and has obliterated that. The cancer in the Swartkrans fossil could have killed the individual, but while highly uncomfortable and making the Sadiba child vulnerable to predation and other threats, his tumour, which was active by the time of his death, was not life-threatening. The osteogenic sarcoma, the foot bone tumour, is an aggressive tumour, it's a cancer, and that apart from being locally aggressive and destroying the bones that it invades and it takes over, can actually metastasize, it can spread throughout the rest of the body. So the individual can get effects in the lungs and other parts of the body. The tumor that we described in the um, vertebra, the spinal bone of the um, Australopithecus sediba from the Malapa site is not an aggressive tumor. It locally sits in the bone, but it's not going to cause um, distant spreaders. In, in modern examples, if we had this tumor on that part of the bone, in other words, if you had your foot here and you had the tumour somewhere over there, it would have been a lump sticking out. And that would have uh, uh, had, had an influence because the way we strike the ground and the way our foot strikes the ground on the outside, it would have made contact and uh, probably would have been very uncomfortable and probably quite painful. Research shows that the disease is part of our history, something that we can't escape. Recent studies on Egyptian mummies failed to identify traces of cancer um, and it leading some researchers to suggest that it wasn't present in the pre-modern world. This study falsifies that. So the capacity for neoplastic disease for tumours and cancers may well be very very old. What we've done today is effectively generate an environment whereby um, our lifestyle uh, and our longevity creates problems for ourselves. Um, by exposing us to dietary toxins, environmental toxins that we would not have been exposed to before the Industrial Revolution. You know, if you take um, prostate cancer, uh, it, it would occur in pretty much every man who gets old enough. If we men get old enough, we will get that cancer, or at least some prostate problems. With technology constantly improving and becoming more affordable, 
Scientists expect research like this will break open the understanding of who we are, where we come from, and possibly overcome some of the challenges of modern day life. We only really have discovered what was going on by the application of new imaging modalities and new techniques. Um, and part of me wonders whether or not um, more of this material is basically waiting to be discovered as we uh, are capable of looking inside fossils, not just of hominins but of other animals, where these kind of conditions are waiting to be discovered through the application of new techniques.